Hello, Internet. I am Darklight from Annie's Airsoft, and today I will be reviewing Herzogon Productions PPSH 41 AG, also known as Papa Sha. Externals on this gun are excellent, beautiful, all gun made of only steel or wood. Only things that are not steel and wood are internally with hop up and gearbox. Everything else on gun, everything, steel or wood. This make gun beautiful and solid. How solid? Solid like bear made of Kalashnikovs. Just to demonstrate how solid it is. I will show you now. Drum magazine, this is only prototype drum, not finished model. Finished model will not have winding wheel on back and also plastic will not be there. Drum magazine, of course, is steel. Drum magazine here, however, has been having bluing process on steel. Very nice finish. Gun at moment is only finalized prototype. So, still powder coated in parts, but real gun will be blued steel all over and will be very, very beautiful. Like bear, made of wood. Obviously, as this Papa Sha is no rail equipment for accessories, no optics for this gun. However, has very simple but effective iron sights. Here we have rear sight, there is two apertures for different distances. Though, to be perfectly honest, at airsoft engagement ranges, not very useful. Whichever you strike your fancy. Front sight here is hooded with steel, is made of steel. Insert is steel and is welded to steel barrel. Is very nice. Now, inside has adjustable front sight, same as AK design. So if you have AK adjustment tool, it's easy. If not, you have pliers. It's also easy. Can be adjusted up and down for elevation. Unfortunately, no windage adv adjustment available. But I am sure that someone can probably fix this. However, I must I must say that this gun is perhaps not made for se accurate semi-automatic shooting. It's more for suppressing and close-in assault work, in which case it shines like bear, chrome-plated bear. <laughs> Internally, ABG is very good. Inside, we have hop-up unit taken from G36C. Also, inner barrel taken from G36C is standard JG. And also here, JG again. This G36C unit, very consistent. Easy to adjust through hop, through ejection port or through magazine well. Internally, the gearbox is taken from SEMA M14. So it's version 7, complete copy of TM, but with metal, bearing, uh, metal bushings instead of plastic. Also with high torque motor. Rate of fire, not so good on 8.4 volt battery, but can pull up to 450 FPS spring, no problem. So, I remove drum mag. 
Now, just like real papasha, press down on latch at back of stock and the entire gun shotguns open like this. You can then remove fake bolt cover, also steel by way, and then inside you can see G36 hop up unit pull straight out along with stabilization spring and some o-rings to keep barrel centered inside outer barrel. Entire process take maybe 10 seconds to remove, another 10 to replace. So can theoretically, if you have extra G36 hop-up unit and barrel, could go from normal barrel and normal hop-up unit for a suppressing fire with large spread, or you could go to high quality hop-up unit, machine, CNC, and also with uh, tight bore for accurate shooting. As you can see, gearbox here from top is just standard M14 gearbox with new nozzle. It is actually very reliable gearbox. I fired over 6,000 rounds in full auto, short full auto burst and semi automatic burst on first game of this gun, and no issues at all. Fed perfectly fine. Drum magazine is prototype. Some small teething issues with reliability, but otherwise fed almost 100%. Production magazine will not have flaws of prototype magazine. I have spoken with manufacturer. It is being redesigned to make sure that these problems do not occur on production types. Now is locked again. Now is open. It's very easy to change hop up. Only take 15 seconds. How good is that? Now. Bolt cover goes back in. To replace, you put to about halfway position because hop up unit needs to be pushed slightly forward before going down onto nozzle, otherwise, may cause damage to nozzle. It's unlikely, but perhaps. So, just to be safe. Now, gun is completely and utterly solid. Enough to beat bear to death. Controls underneath. Here is obviously trigger. Here is fire select. Fully forward is automatic. Fully back is semi-automatic. Here is magazine catch. Like real papa shares, folded. So when out of use, it does not catch and accidentally drop magazine. Here it's easy. You push back, thumb release, just like Kalashnikov. Simple, easy to use, and absolutely solid. Now, when we look over here, stock plate is affixed by two metal screws. This is not openable, it's only fake latch for cleaning kit. Now, to replace battery, you must have Phillips screwdriver. Battery space is inside stock, which by way it's very nice, very solid laminated wood. Undo two screws, then entire assembly of stuck plate will come out. Sometimes it's a bit stiff. Yeah, I'm just doing a stitch.